Sister Pam, and today is going to be my pleasure to talk to you about offering. Now let's say you were walking outside and you found 10 pennies. Isn't that awesome? Money on the ground, wealth laying there for us. Let's say we have the 10 pennies. God only asks for one of those 10 pennies, and he leaves us with nine. And let's say, okay, now we've been doing everything that mom and dad has asked us to do, and we have our first allowance. And our first allowance is $10. Isn't that awesome? So now let's go in. We're counting our $10, and we know that we want to give something to the Lord. So what would we do? How much would our tithe be? Of those $10, God is only asking that we give $1, and he's still leaving us with the nine. Isn't that fantastic? Now, okay, we're getting older and we have our very first job. So we have earned our first $100. I am so excited that first hundred and to be able to bring that to the Lord. You know how much that tithe is? It's still that same 10%. So we would give God $10 of that 100 and we would still have $90 left and that is awesome. Now let's say we're in our job or we have our own business and we have made our first $1,000. So now we are working with $1,000 and we wanna bring this, we're excited and we wanna tell everybody about it. Hey, I made my first $1,000. God sees that you've made that first $1,000 and he's just as excited for you. Now, will you trust him with that? If you do, you're going to tie to God one hundred dollars and he's still going to leave you with nine hundred dollars now let me tell you something about God that one penny that we gave when we were just starting to trust God and just learning about trust God and trusting God is just as important as that one hundred dollars God sees our finance as the same because he's still asking for that same ten percent no matter if it's a penny, no matter if it's a hundred, because the same Malachi 3.10 works for that penny that works for the hundred. And Malachi 3.10 says, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive. Again, that same blessing for that hundred dollars is the same blessing that's on that penny. Now, if God has impressed upon your heart to give a tithe or offering, ask your mom or dad to come into the room and they can text to give to the number listed below. Now, we're going to move on to our next segment. Thanks. I raise a hallelujah in the middle of the mystery. I raise a hallelujah, heaven comes to fight for me. <sighs> Maybe I just need to wait until the situation changes. No, no, no. no. Oh? You still need to raise that hallelujah, even now. That's using your faith. Faith? Faith. What is faith? What is faith? <laughs> We're going to talk about what is faith. My name is Sister Dawn. And my name is Sister Mirica. And we're going to talk today about what is faith. Let's pray first, and then we'll get into our lesson, okay? Yeah. And when we pray, who do we pray to? God. In the name of? Jesus. There you go. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for all these children that you love so dearly. Lord, we ask that you help us to teach your children faith. Amen and let them learn, and we welcome the Holy Spirit to be our teacher. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So what is faith? Faith is being sure about things we hope for. Faith is being sure about things we hope for? And faith, you know, like we said, it's being sure of what you hope for, but it's also knowing that something is real, even if you don't see it. Hmm. Beginning to understand. There's a clip that I'm going to show you, and it'll kind of help us understand even better. My time is short. Do not speak of such things. 
I have led tens of thousands of men to victory in countless battles for Syria. Yet with all my wealth and power, I can do nothing against an unseen enemy that does this. So that I cannot even touch the ones I love. Master were with the prophet who lives in Samaria, for he would heal him of his leprosy. What? Child. What have you said to startle my wife? She says there is a prophet among her people who can heal leprosy. My soldiers raided your land and took you from your people. Yet when I watch you, I'm impressed at how you serve me, in the face of all that has happened to you. But do not speak to me of prophets and cures in Samaria, unless you know, without a doubt, these things are real. My God is real. So we see in this clip that um, the little servant girl, she had faith in the prophet's word. She, had, she knew the prophet, she had faith in God, that God would have the prophet do what he wanted to do for Naaman. So faith is being sure and expecting God to do what he says he will do in his word. And what's his word? The Bible. The Bible is the word of God. How can I be sure? How can I know it works? God said it. It's in his word. He said it. It's like a snowball. The more you get of that word, the bigger your faith will get. More and more and more. I think... So, we have a power verse that we'll use now. It's found in Hebrews 11, verse 1. Hebrews 11, 1. Faith. Faith. Means being sure. Means being sure. Of things we hope for. Of things we hope for. And faith. And faith. Is knowing. Is knowing. Something is real. <gasps> Something is real. Even when you can't see it. Even when you can't see it? Here. Can we do it again? Yes, we can. Yes. It's found in Hebrews 11, 1. Hebrews 11, 1. Faith means? Faith means? Being sure. Being sure. Of things we hope for. Of things we hope for. And faith means? And faith means? Knowing. Knowing. Something is real. Something is real. Even when you can't see it. Even when you can't see it. So faith has that expectancy about it. It's like, I believe it, God said it, and I believe it. Yes. So faith is expecting and being sure God will do what he says he will do. So, you may be asking, how does faith work? Well, let me tell you, boys and girls, if you come back tomorrow, on Monday, we're going to be talking exactly about that. And if you come back on Tuesday, we're going to see how to increase that faith. And on Wednesday, we're going to be talking about how to manifest your faith. You know, there's a clip we could look at. You know, we just talked about Naaman a little bit, how that little servant girl told, you know, said he's going to get healed. Yes. But let's see how, what, how he manifested his faith. That's right. I've come far across the mountains, brought gifts to his king, yet he refuses to come out and even speak to me himself. <laughs> Go wash in this river. That's his answer to me? Sir, if the prophet had told you to do something very difficult, wouldn't you have done it? So you should certainly obey him when he says simply, go and wash, 
and be cured. Joy, he's doing what Elisha said? Yeah. One. Two. Thank you. So we see from that clip that Naaman, I mean, he, he, God said, go down seven times, or the prophet said, go down seven times. He did it seven times. That's and it was that seventh time he came up, skin just like a baby. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Boys and girls, and you too can experience God just like Naaman did in the, in the little video clip. And you can experience God by asking the Lord Jesus into your heart. He gives you a measure of faith. If you've never asked Jesus into your heart, this is a good time to do that. And I can help you. This is how you do it. You put your hands together and close your eyes and I will lead you. You follow and repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I love you. I love you. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against you. I repent of my sin. I repent of my sin. Forgive me my sin. Forgive me my sin. Wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood. And make me clean. And make me clean. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You know what? Jesus has come into your heart if you asked him to come into your heart. And he's given you a measure of faith. That faith will begin to grow. If you come back tomorrow, we will show you how. Before we leave you, let's say that word once more. Okay, let's do our power verse. Hebrews 11, 1. Hebrews 11, 1. Faith means... Faith means... Being sure. Being sure. Of things we hope for. Of things we hope for. Faith means... And faith means... means knowing something is real. Knowing something is real. Even when we don't see it. Even when we don't see it. We'll 
will see you boys and girls tomorrow. Come back again tomorrow.